when I was at the FDA early on as the head of the Office of Surveillance and Biometrics, we had analysts look at adverse events. One of the things they discovered, there were some problems with devices which looked like they were being reused and they should have been reused. So what's going on? Well, hospitals are under a lot of pressure for payment. A lot of these products are expensive. Hospitals buy them. And if they can send them down to their engineering department and clean them with bleach and bring them back up, they can save some money. So think about this. One of them was like a biopsy forceps. You probably don't even know what that is. So a biopsy forceps looks like a pretty simple thing. It's got on one hand a thing that looks like a scissors. It's sort of a thing that, that clamps. And attached to it is a very long wire that goes into your rectum that goes and is snaked up through a tube. And it's several feet long. It's a couple of yards long. So it's nine feet long, maybe, or more. And it is snaked up into your body. And at the head of it is a little tiny scissors. And the scissors is designed to clamp off and cut polyps. So here was this thing being snaked all the way up into your anatomy. Hospital would take it out of the operating room, send it down to their guys in engineering. They would put it in a bucket of bleach. Then they would dry it, and they would send it right back up, and they would put it up somebody else's anatomy. That wasn't very comforting, because the company never designed it to be made more than once. And we discovered it was happening with dozens of devices. All kinds of things were being reused that shouldn't have been reused. Well, we contacted hospitals, and eventually we made the legal determination that they were becoming manufacturers. And hospitals started to fight us about it. And we said, if you wish to take a device that a company is only warranting once and you want to reuse it two and three and four times, you're actually manufacturing that device. And over the course of a couple of years, a team that I led, and also I have to give credit to the head of the compliance office, Leon Gill at the time, she and I worked diligently to make sure hospitals knew that they were manufacturing, and we got them out of the business. And so changing that, we think, helped change the public health by just getting hospitals out of the business of reusing devices that weren't supposed to be reused. And now that industry is much better regulated, and it just makes it a lot easier to think that devices are being maintained in terms of their safety. And that was the role that the FDA played. Thank you.